Good morning. Today is going to be a fun day. I'm going to give you an inside look on the whole entire day, start to finish. A lot of things planned for today. One, breakfast. Two, coffee. Three, a uh, three and a half hour ride with lots of tempo. Four, lunch, shower. Five, probably recovery routine. Six, dinner. Seven, probably eat more food and eight, go to bed. That's gonna be my day. So let's dive in. Breakfast is super important. That's why uh, I carve up with this breakfast. I actually really enjoy it. It doesn't seem like a whole lot. Peanut butter and toast, like that's pretty basic. People wanna say that, but you know what? It's something that I really enjoy and what I eat a lot of. And uh, it's super quick, fast easy and so on so basically recipe here we go toast I like using Dave's killer bread toast or I like using it for toast here's the recipe Dave's killer bread love using that uh, all natural peanut butter and then on top of that obviously banana and then just some of your local honey that's it super simple gives me around 100 grams of carbs gives me about 15 grams of fat and around 20 grams of protein and uh, yeah, so I eat that about two hours before my ride. Right now it is about 9.30, um, three and a half hours today. Sun sets around 4.30. So I'm definitely gonna get on the bike around 11, 11.30. And uh, then I'll just get going at it. So it gives ample time for it to digest in my body. Then I just get on the bike. So like I said, breakfast is super important. I uh, usually start my day with that. Uh, espresso, so good. I've talked about it on my live stream. I did not have a Rocket Espresso up until about maybe eight months ago. Uh, team director got me one. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a coffee stop now. Um, anyways, I've been using Drink Trade. I'll put a link down below if anyone's into coffee. I like, I like Drink Trade. It's like a subscription coffee based service it's all super uh super fresh S shows up like within two or three days of being roasted and yeah i'm like into it i got the little wand for stirring i got puck screens different things and just loving loving my espresso but anyways um yeah it's kind of what's going on today's workout's gonna be super cool um let's talk about that today's ride since it's going to be, uh, I think I have 80 minutes. Yes, I have 80 minutes of tempo today. Now, um, that's gonna require quite a bit of carbs and it's kind of up front. It's not late in the ride. So I'm gonna fuel up front with carbs and I'm gonna be honest, a lot of people are gonna give me a lot of junk right now. They're gonna be like, make your own drink mix, sugar, water, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is. I'm using beta fuel today. SIS as usual. So I switched over to this from Never Second. I'm gonna be honest, I think my body likes it a lot better. Um, Never Second, I liked Never Second. Sometimes the gels gave me like some stomach issues, like um, almost like a bloating feeling and kind of cramping, especially like if I was deep into a ride. So because of that, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try something else. So I tried SIS. Uh, I am loving it. I'm having super strong rides. Um, I'm not having any of the, the GI upset from like their gels or anything like that. It's a little on the sweet side, but aside from that, I don't know. I've been liking it a lot. So I'm gonna go with two of these. They're both 80 grams 
of carbs. So my ride's three and a half hours. Um, I'm gonna go with two of these. So the first, I'll probably do a bottle an hour. So the first hour will be 80 grams, and the second hour will be 80 grams, and then the third and final hour, I'll probably just hit a gel at 40 grams. And just kind of call it a day is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I've been using this. It's been a lot, a lot better on my my GI, but I've also never second was like making me break out. It's kind of weird. Like I'd randomly get like pimple on my arm or pimple on my legs, things like that. Like just kind of like breaking out. Um, since I've stopped using it and I switched over to this, like all of that's cleared up. Kind of weird. So I don't know what it is about that that causes that, but that's something I experienced. Um, I know some people have said they've experienced the same thing with their gels, but that's what I've experienced with with their uh, just overall nutrition. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do 80 grams an hour today. So this will be the first hour. And then basically the workout's gonna go like this. I got about a 25 minute warm up, and then I go into 80 minutes of tempo. Now the way the tempo works is I go four and a half minutes at whatever cadence I wanna do, but I sit around 300 watts. And then I'll go 30 seconds at basically threshold. Um, and I'll have to do that in a low cadence. So I'll have to go like, I think like a 60 to a 70 cadence on that. Just kind of muscular force, stay seated. But I'll go around, probably around 350, 360 for 30 seconds. And then I'll drop back down for four and a half minutes to uh, tempo. And so basically I'm doing like tempo surges. Um, you can call it that. So I've done, I've done sweet spot surges before. Um, I give a lot of my athletes sweet spot surges. Uh, tempo surges is a little bit different. It's not quite as hard as sweet spot surges. Sweet spot surges are like obviously sweet spot, but then you surge at VO2. Um, with the tempo ones, you do tempo and you surge at threshold. So, um, but yeah, so for me, threshold's around 340, 350 watts. Uh, I'm gonna do tempo at about 300 watts and then surge to 350 for 30 seconds and then back down to 300, four and a half minutes and then surge back up. And I do that over and over and over. I think it's like 16 times or something like that for 80 minutes total. And then when that's over, um, I just go straight into zone two endurance work for the last about hour and 40 minutes, I believe is what it is. Um, it's gonna be really good. So got our fuel, let's go get kitted up. Man, it is cold today. Burr, uh, I think it's 39 degrees right now. So chilly, the sun kind of went away. That makes it colder. It is what it is though, gotta get the work done. Whew, that was good. So it was 80 minutes and uh, I ended up actually doing 90 minutes. One thing my coach said is, if you're feeling good and feeling relatively easy, don't go more power, add on like a maximum of extra 15 minutes. So I was feeling good, felt really comfortable. I was like, ah, I'll just add more, 10 more minutes. That was it. So now I'm doing the zone two, about an hour and a half, I'm two hours in, averaging about 285 for two hours. Now I'll just roll around probably 225, 230 for an hour and a half. And that'll be that. Ooh, cool down, almost complete back in my home neighborhood. Uh, that was a really good day, really, really good day. So I think it was about probably 90 minutes around probably 295. Ooh, that was uh that was one heck of a ride. I just finished, uh, obviously, duh. Um, but yeah, that was, wow. Wow, was that a ride. Um, basically, like, yeah, it was like a 200 and, oof, 20, 220 TSS day, which is super cool. Uh, it's a little bit more than what we wanted but we kind of assumed that would happen. So when I say we, I mean me and my coach, like we planned for that kind of stuff. Um, the tempo is good. So I actually, 
I actually just looked at my stats. I ended up averaging like 300 watts for 90 minutes, which is crazy because, um, I mean, my target was for the four and a half minute, like tempo portion was like, I don't know, it was 275 to 309. And I was pacing about 295 to 298 on all of them. And then my 30 second efforts were, I think I was around, whew, it's chilly. I was around 350 to 380 for 30 seconds on each one. And then right back into tempo and yeah, 90 minutes of that just duh, 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 came up to about 300 watts. So that's cool. Uh, my biggest power so far, I think it's my second highest power of the whole year, like for 2023. So kind of cool stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, that was uh, 220 TSS, a really solid day. I think my intensity factor was like 0.78. Um, and then outside of that, yeah, I went through two, two 80 gram bottles of drink mix of carbs. And then I did one 40 gram uh, gel. 40 gram carbs of gel and that kind of came out to, to fueling me through the ride post post tempo I was rolling I think I averaged to almost like 229 pretty much 230 for uh for about an hour and a half so yeah it was all good stuff I mean I'm excited it's week three I know this week's gonna catch up to me like by the end of the week, I'll be feeling tired, but I think I'm gonna have good legs all week. Um, when I started the effort, the legs were a little sluggish. And then after about, I don't know, 15 minutes, they like started to settle in and get really, really comfortable. And things just started rolling from that point. So um, I went 10 minutes extra, like I said, but yeah, good stuff. I'm gonna go nail my nutrition, hit up the recovery mix. And then, um, dude, hot shower. I'm cold. It's cold today. It's like, uh, I don't know what it was. It was like 38 degrees, 40 degrees, but it's cloudy. There's no sun. And that makes it so, I mean, luckily it wasn't windy, but it's just, whew, it's just cold today. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take a hot shower. Enjoy that. That's gonna feel amazing. Then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch and get that dialed. All right, shower. Sh shower felt really good. Oh my gosh. Hot shower is the best um, food. What am I going to do for lunch? What am I going to do? You know what? I think I'm going to do yogurt, granola, blueberries, maybe banana, and some honey. I think that'll give me good protein fat plus a solid amount of carbs with all of uh, the granola blueberries and bananas yeah let's do that oh man the lunch hit the spot uh so yeah just really quick just talking about calorie control and it's not that i i um i don't restrict calories i don't really believe in that because Man, the work I'm doing on the bike, like I really need to make sure that the adaptations are happening, that I'm fueling for the work, all those things. So I don't restrict calories. What I do though, is I control how much I eat based off of basically my macros. So I've talked about it before, um, but protein, I always try to go for 100 to 120 grams of protein on rest days and closer to 120 on like hard training days and more around 100. When it comes to fats, I try to keep those on the lower end. I think my body type, the more fat I eat, the more I start to just kind of store it. So never really been a big like, hey, let's eat 100 plus grams of fat. Um, I try to keep that kind of around 50 to 60 grams of fat or less. Uh, but yeah, and then carb wise, it kind of depends on the day. So an example would be um, today was a bigger day. So with three and a half hours, 
Uh, I want to say I burned, let's see how many kilojoules I actually burned. Uh, 3,200 kilojoules. So I did, that's, that is a lot. Calorie wise was 3,500. So I'm not going to eat an extra 3,500, but uh, I'm going to make sure I have the carbs to replenish what I burned. So, so far today I've eaten 388 grams of carbs. That's breakfast, that's on the bike, my recovery sh shake, and that's also what I had for lunch. I think my goal today is going to be closer to 550 grams of carbs. So I still need at least another 100 and 20 so grams of carbs in order to get there. Uh, the wife is bringing home crab cakes apparently. She went somewhere today and got crab cakes, so I'm super excited for that. That's gonna be a good amount of protein and that. So I'm gonna have to like figure out something else to eat when it comes to carbs. It might be pasta, it might be, I don't know what it is yet. Probably pasta, maybe something like that. But anyways, it's kind of where I'm going. So my lunch though, we just look into that really quick lunch wise brought me in at uh 72 grams of carbs and then uh eight grams of fat and 25 grams of protein so we're getting there but just looking at my macros and stuff like my protein is only 63 grams for the day so i need to take in another 40 grams just to kind of get around that 100. my fats are pretty low they're around 29 grams but again those carbs are not even to 400 grams yet and i want to get at least a 550. so that's what's going on and uh yeah i'm gonna foam roll here pretty quick roll out i'm actually feeling pretty good i'm not that sore i mean i'm a little tired obviously it was a big day but uh soreness wise i mean the legs felt good during the workout i never really had like the lactic burning like lactate coming up in the legs and burning and whatnot um Part of that is I use Lactigo. So Lactigo is something that really helps with onset muscle soreness, fatigue, the burning sensation. Doesn't like eliminate it, but definitely helps. Um, down below, Chaz20 will give you 20% off on Lactigo. I use that pre-ride and I also use it post for recovery. But the other thing too is like, I'm just getting more and more aerobically fit. So as I continue to work on obviously zone two riding, and then I start to push into tempo riding, my LT1, like that first inflection point of lactate into my system is starting to kind of move higher and higher, which is really good, which will also result in my FTP, my threshold moving higher. So again, we're like, I'm pushing things up from the bottom um, right now. And that's kind of what we're doing. We're just doing an aerobic base push from the bottom, bringing that up. And then once we get closer to season, we'll start dragging it up from the top. But all that is cool things, good stuff. Yeah, foam roll. I'm gonna get some dinner when my wife gets home. It's about almost five o'clock. She gets off work around five, so she should be home around 5.30. Um, if she doesn't, if she works late, then she'll be home around six, but yeah, cool stuff. All right, one of the first things I do when it comes to foam rolling, what are you doing, bud? Go play with your toy somewhere else. I gotta roll here, thank you. Uh, one of the first things I do is I like to work on my calves. Start there, just kinda, Roll those bad boys out. What are you guys doing? Get out of here. These dogs, I'm telling you. Yeah, I just start with the calves, kind of get anything out. I think the one thing about foam rolling is people assume it takes forever. Like you gotta spend hours and hours foam rolling. No, just kind of break up some of the junk and move on. If there's any spots that are tender, like maybe right there, just kind of uh, work back and forth. And then, then continue. Actually kill two birds with one stone. I do both, both hamstrings at the same time. Oh my gosh. So now rotate as I roll that. Super simple. Ooh, they're a little tender. That guy's a little tender right there. Just kind of sit there and work through that one. I have no idea what my dogs are doing. Buddy's going to town on this toy, huh, buddy? Hey, you are. The other one that's good. Oh, this hip flexor or this uh, IT band. Ooh, that hurts. 
You only roll halfway on the IT man. You don't do the whole way. You go halfway and then you do the other half. I find that works a lot. And then after you do that a few times, you stop the halfway point and then you oh, flex the leg out and in. Just kind of working it. Oh my gosh. I am tender. Oh. So tender. Oh my gosh. Oh. That guy is angry. <laughs> so angry oh oh good lord okay gotta get the glutes glutes are important oh yeah i think the biggest thing is just breathe breathe through this junk What's wrong with you? You give me attitude. This dog. All right, we're almost done. See, fun rolling doesn't take that long. I'm not. Ooh, that guy right there. So I'll sit there, just kind of rock back, yeah, rock back and forth on it. And roll it. So one spot I'm having some pain in is. Um, kind of like right here in my upper quads. I mean, a little bit in here, right here in my upper quads. So I'm going to really just focus on rolling that quad right there. Ooh. I also like to go like to do some of the, ooh, that actually really hurts. Yeah, just kind of roll it around that knee. Get that nice and, uh, oh, it's getting there. Oh my gosh, the inner thigh. Ooh. Oh. So I'll do the same thing for the other side. Then I'll be done. The important thing though is to make sure you drink a decent amount of water afterwards because you're gonna flush a lot of junk out right now they need to go drink the water mm. oh yeah right there shoot that hurts ah. Gah. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, that guy's angry. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Okay. Cool. I think the dog wants to play. He's like, let's play. Hi. How was your day? <laughs> was I am starving. Did you bring home food? Yes. Huge. Crab cakes. Crab cakes. Yes. Crab cakes. <laughs> All right. So crab cakes. Um, excited for those. I think there's some salad and then making some pasta. Mm -hmm. All right. Dinner was so good. Uh, really hit the spots. I got a little extra cupcake, crab cake, cupcakes. I got an extra crab cake from the wifey. Thank you, wifey. Um, so yeah, let's end this video really quick. So dinner wise, it's about 823 calories. 
it's quite a bit. Um, 81 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein, and about 30 grams of fat. Overall, that still puts me um, about 60 grams of fat, which is good. Protein is around 100 grams of protein, which is good, which is what I wanted. And then 470 grams of carbs. So I'm still about mm, 50 to 70 grams, 50 to 50, yeah, 50 to 70 grams short. So probably just, you know, eat some fruit or something like that, or maybe even like make a smoothie or something. But that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's my day. Dinner ate and was over by 6.45. And like I said, around 7, 7.30, I'll probably have a snack. So I'm going to wait a little bit for my snack. And yeah, bed at 10.30 probably. So super good day. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope that kind of helps with uh, what I eat during the day, especially on a bigger training ride like that. Um, I was going to film more while I was riding, but my GoPro died. Sad day. Rip. Anyways, um, that's all I got. So y'all keep riding, training hard. I'll see you guys in the next one.